hi there in today's video i'm going to show you how you can reduce your bounce rate okay so this is my analytics from january 1st 2021 to 31st of january 2021 and my bounce rate was 65 percent which is quite good but again it's not that good so i'm sure you might be asking yourself what is the good bounce rate well according to this website over here it says that as a broad rule of thumb, you are aiming for a upset bounce rate of under 40%. So of under 40% is very, very perfect. So between 40% and 55% is really okay. While 55 to 65% shows a significant room for improvement. So if you have bounce rate of about 55 to 65, okay, then you need to improve and you can really do that. Then lastly, a bounce rate above 90% or below 20% okay, often indicates that a tracking code uh, error or is bad. So as for me, I'm aiming for a bounce rate between 30 and 40%. So in general, uh, the bounce rate of 65%. Okay. Then in February, okay, these are minorities from 1st February to 28th February. And I got a 44% bounce rate, which is quite good. So how did I do all this? Okay. Well, here are the six ways on which I myself have been using and I'm still using to reduce my bounce rate to the what I've just showed you. Okay. So the first way to reduce your bounce rate is... Okay. But before I continue and explain on how to reduce your bounce rate or to have a better bounce rate... Let me first explain to you what a bounce rate is if you don't know what it is. So a bounce rate is when, for example, someone visits a website, okay, visits your, your home page, and they leave the website without visiting other pages. That is counted as a bounce rate. So you really need to make people visit other pages, not just visiting one page and they leave. So when, when people just visit one page and they leave, okay, your bounce rate will be high and to be bad. So you really need to make people visit other websites, maybe up to three pages per se. Yeah, that would be good. So if you're wondering, this is the playlist for how to start a profitable blog that generates money for you 24 seven. I'll include the link in the description. I've got over about 17 videos or so teaching you on how to start a profitable blog that generates money for you 24 seven, even when you're sleeping. So enough with the talkings, let's now get started. So what is the first way or how do I have a better bounce rate or how do I reduce bounce rate on my website? So let me close these tabs over here. Okay. Okay, so this is my website and this is my blog post. So the first way or the first method I use to have a better bounce rate is that I make use of related posts. So, for example, I wrote a post about how to become a forex broker in Africa, and I've written similar posts about this. So, all I have to do is add the related post down when people are done reading. So, when people are done reading after the conclusion, there'll be a, a heading code recommended for you. So, these posts are seen down here, they are similar to the post from just reading above. So, someone would click on this without doubting. Okay. So, this is the first way I in uh, reduce my bounce rate so maybe you might be asking which plugin do i use to have a better bounce rate or oh, which plugin do i use for rated post okay so the plugin i use for rated post is called uh visual modo rated post yeah so this is the plugin i use for rated post this plugin is very light and doesn't screw up your website and it's very it's very nice it has got better features okay so this is the plugin i use for rated post okay so the second way on how to reduce your bounce rate is by reducing the number of adverts on your website okay when people visit your website on, and when they see a lot of adverts they leave pages instantly because so there are some people who hate adverts and whenever they see adverts they just leave the page or they use the ad blocker so as for me, so you can make use of AdSense uh, auto ads. Okay, auto ads is where AdSense is going to place adverts on your behalf. So don't have to post, uh, don't have to place adverts in your post manually. Okay, so as you can see from here, coming down, you can see like 
the ads base are not that much they're not disturbing okay so on this post there's only one ad in the post and can't disturb a person really that much okay i've seen uh some people's website whereby they've got a lot of ads like four in a post which is quite bad so you can have some adverts from adsense in your sidebar even down even in the heading okay better that so that you don't disturb people when they are reading yeah so now what's the third way on how i reduce um uh, bounce rate so the third way or the third method i use to reduce my bounce rate is my website speed so how is this possible okay of course everyone hates a solo website even google does so if your website is fast people will definitely visit other links so for example when people visit your website your website takes time to load they'll be discouraged to visit other pages because they don't they don't want to see a blank screen and start waiting for minutes for the page to load so if your website is fast and it loads instant people will definitely read other pages because your website is fast there'll be nothing to wait so I'm just trying to show you how fast website is. So for example, here's my related post. So all I need to do is click on this button and my page will load almost instantly. Okay, just that here. Yeah, so this is it about speed. So I'm going to make another video on how I made my website fast. Okay, both at server level and WordPress level. So subscribe for so to get to watch the video. So what's the fourth way I use to reduce my bounce rate? So the fourth way is by using some inline links in your post. So for example, I'm sure you can see this text over here, which says read how to become a Forex broker in Africa. So these links, I didn't put them manually. Okay, there's a plugin I use which adds rated post, okay, in the post. So it helps me. Uh, with everything so for example here it also said read how do forex brokers make money so as you can see this post is also related to the post you're current reading and the person would definitely click on this so which plugin do i use for uh, inline related links so the plugin i use is yeah so this is a plugin i use for inline related posts okay so it adds related posts either you can choose either via tags or via category you can choose this on your own then it will add the automatically and your views will, will definitely increase okay so this is the fourth way or on how i reduce my bounce rate so what is the fifth way on how i reduce my bounce rate okay for example if i write a similar post and for example if i write a post and the dark people uh first to read okay for example as for me i make tutorials so for some tutorials people require some basic knowledge before reading the tutorial so people will need first to watch the other previous tutorial i made so i can tell the people in my post that to read this post and also that to read the previous one so to understand it better so when you do so people definitely read the previous post and come back there and finish reading this will definitely reduce your bounce rate and it has really helped me and it does work people do click on those links and the last way on how i have better uh bounce rate so as for me i know a lot of stuff and i do not stick to one niche i write a lot of posts about blogging money affiliate youtube forex trading and so on so how do so if i want to have a better uh, bounce rate okay uh, I have to make use of categories and tags. So I need to group similar posts in a in a group itself. So for example, if I, I write a post about Forex, I have to add this post about Forex in their own category. Because if I mix post about Forex, about YouTube, about AdSense, people are not going to be uh, clicking those links because it's going to be more like dates, like don't be in order. So I'm sure you know this is make use of categories, okay? Uh, put things in categories so that people can get to find the related things they are looking for. So this is all I had for you, okay? If you like this video, support, like it to support me. If you'd like to learn more, subscribe and turn on notifications. I think this is the 22nd video in the playlist on how to start a profitable blog. 
that generates money for you 24 7 for free even when you're sleeping so the link to the description the link to the playlist is in the description uh bye for now see you in the next video this is keith